One thing I found really tricky when I started as a novice anaesthetic trainee was learning how to draw up drugs. So I was going to demonstrate it here just to make it a bit easier. So you need your drug, you need correct size syringe, drug label, and a needle. These are both blunt needles. One's pink, one's red. The pink one has a filter, the red one does not. If you are using a drug from a glass vial, such as this one, metaraminol, you should use the pink needle so that you don't accidentally draw up small particles of glass from breaking the vial. So we'll get rid of this one. So we take our syringe and pop it out through the plastic. Now I like to label it first. Everyone does it their own way. And generally we put it around the bottom of the syringe like that so you can read it like that. Pop your syringe on. Now push and twist and it'll stick on a bit better. Now this bit is a bit that people fret about, is snapping the glass file. So you'll often find that there's some fluid stuck up in here, particularly if you do that. Some people will say to do this and rub it on the counter. Others will sit there flicking it. The way I do it is one quick flick round. I'll do that again. What you're doing is a flick round like that, but vertically. Generally, that will get most of it out. It doesn't matter if there's a tiny bubble left. Now the key to opening a vial is to do a twisting off the top motion. You are popping the top off. You're not squeezing it and you're not twisting like that. You're just popping the top off. Now some people pop like this. I wouldn't recommend it because you can cut your thumb. I tend to put my knuckle behind with the blue dot pointing towards me or the red dot in this case. And then I loosely put my thumb on top and I'm literally just rotating my wrist like that and it'll pop off. Get rid of this bit. And then I put my vial down, I hold the hub here, pull the top off the syringe, okay? Now I have shaky hands, so I often will stabilize my hands to put the needle into the vial. I put it right down to the bottom, and then I draw back, okay? Once you know you've got all of it in, you can then squeeze the air out top, doesn't matter if a little bit spills, and just check that you've got the amount you're expecting. Okay, now you're not supposed to really resheed needles, but this is a blunt filter needle, and so if you're doing it safely, it's not going to do too much harm. Now, before I throw away the vial, and this is why I label the syringe beforehand, is I can directly compare. Metaraminol, metaraminol. I'm expecting 0.5 milligrams per mil as a concentration, and then you go and you check the expiry date. Now you can throw this in the bin knowing you have the right dose of the right drug in this syringe and it's correctly labeled.